I started studying my degree at Teesside University, graphic design and illustration, which I just recent, recently passed last year. I've been doing obviously lots of uni work, building up my illustration skills and my portfolio. Um, I've also been able to do one more children's book. Just recently, last December, um, I started working on a new children's book for a daycare centre in Middlesbrough called Zizu's Daycare. And this book, I am once again working with Peter Barron. And um, I'm not just, I've not just been illustrating their book, but I've actually been doing other work uh, with Zizu's. I've actually been creating content for their social, social media. I've been drawing as long as I can remember, ever since I was little, um, doing little sketches, drawing little characters. It was always something I loved doing, especially when I had more difficult times with my OCD when I was growing up. Drawing was something I kind of could escape into and I could kind of um, use all the, my creativity and kind of my thoughts and put them into something that was kind of productive and rather than just worrying about OCD thoughts or that kind of thing. Starting in my second year of uni, I started working on a new children's book with an autistic writer called Harriet. She's a PhD student at Durham University. The name of the book is My Brother Tom Has Superpowers, and it's all about a little autistic girl called Grace, who doesn't understand how her non-autistic brother Tom understands what other kids are thinking and what they want in different social situations. So she thinks he can read minds and he has superpowers. So it's a really cute story um, about her kind of trying to work out why he has these things, this, these abilities, while, while she feels that she doesn't. But then towards the end of the book, her mum points out that she has her own ability, her own gifts. She, she has like the things she's good at and that kind of, it's just a nice message for children um, to really un understand um, the different kind of like ways different people can see the world. Sometimes when I've been younger, I've kind of had doubts whether I'd be able to kind of like support myself financially, whether I'd be able to cope with kind of like different pressures as an autistic adult um, and just have that kind of independence. But um, I mean, I still do now <laughs> I have those like worries, um, but it's my hope, my goal is that um, I'll be able to do illustration, get that, get, um, have that kind of like ability to kind of like support myself. NIAS has been really incredible really for my career so far. I don't think there's many like, um, il like illustration students that can actually graduate with having two books already published and NIAS's support has really just made that possible.